Ah, uh, let me tell you something, man. Listen, listen, let me tell you something, right? You can never find this. You can never find this in America. New York, oh, hell no, hell no. The Americans right now, they're jealous, man. They're, je they're, je they're jealous of China. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today is one of those beautiful October days in Shanghai. There's a little bit of a chill, a crisp chill in the air, but the sun is still up in the sky, shining brightly, and it makes the city look absolutely beautiful. Today I have a very, very special guest. There's a British vlogger with a sizable audience. He moved to China about six weeks ago. He's been living in Beijing and he's just moved to Tianjin and he's just come to visit Shanghai for the day. So I'll be making a couple of videos with him. Let's go and meet him. What happened in here? Uh, the mix of um, so many interesting things right when it comes towards the people the food the staring oh my <laughs> goodness it was mad you know but the thing is like uh, what i like about here in china is like the people even though they do stare right they're still with curiosity um they just want to like, know you you know even though like it's like, a huge language barrier there right oh boy trust me man it's insane i mean insane level i don't mind it you know it's all good vibes if you've probably seen me before you, you see like i just get on the floor i can't speak mandarin i can only say me ha <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's been good it's been good so far yeah awesome. to answer the question so first on our list is east nanjing road obviously the main tourist attraction in shanghai we're going to take a walk down here walk towards the bund then we're going to go check out places like people square uh, where else are we going to go? You, you Garden. Uh, that's it, that's and we'll it. keep the rest a little secret for you guys. So, first up, East Nanjing Road. Time flies, isn't it? Yeah. I, yeah, two years. Two years has gone quick. Um, Man, tell me about two months. I, I can't believe it, right? I, literally, you know what the thing is that? I thought coming to China, right? I thought like, I only maybe probably, I can't even, I won't, I won't even last a month. <laughs> Honestly, right? I feel like people here are gonna be like super disgusting, right? They're gonna be like, oh, black man, go back to England, right? <laughs> but it's, it it's been amazing. I mean, Watch honestly, bags. right? Shopping, huh? shopping. Yeah, shopping, shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going shopping right now. You know, I've been traveling for so long, so I know when someone is trying to sell me stuff. Yeah, yeah. So just go the flow, and then yeah, get into their own into their own field, right? They feel a little bit smaller. They're like, oh god. This guy know what he's talking about. <laughs> That's it, man. But yeah, China is insane. Man. And the one thing I've, on, I've, I've liked about China, even when I was on the maglev train, right? Yeah. Um, I even stumbled into a guy there from Uzbekistan, something wow. like that, right? Yeah. I can't believe him. I was mad, and I was like, wow. I'm meeting all these interesting people, right? And I was like, damn, man. Seriously, you're thinking China is only like um, it's only mainly catered for Chinese people, yeah. right? But like, honestly, Shanghai, you find everyone. I mean, every everyone, nationality. It's it's crazy, yeah. really. Oh my god, it's amazing, man. It's like all these things happening here, all at once, like soaking. I mean, honestly, this is my this is my first time here. I mean, yeah. People say that there were a lot more foreigners before 2019. Right. So, I mean, if there were more in 2019, then right. that's crazy because I see a lot of like I'm out and about, and some places in Shanghai, mm. I will only encounter foreigners there won't be any locals me yeah uh, the most crazy thing is like sometimes it's a bit too much i ain't gonna lie to you right <laughs> like sometimes like i remember when i went to Tiananmen square right yeah oh my goodness man so many people were queuing just to take a picture with me and, really? I, was, I, <laughs> and I was like come on man I, i'm a tourist i came to see the same thing you came to see right so now i become the tourist attraction. sometimes it's like yeah why do you find me more interesting than the actual the actual place yeah like it's shocking like it's yeah. crazy man and uh but it's 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 uh, man, it, it's really exhausting i ain't gonna lie to you but the thing is like for me i want to be here in china i, I love being in asia that's the good thing about me, yeah right? best continent so, for me definitely the same, best continent 100 same, 100 man i've been best to continent, the best societies Best. it's so safe here yeah and the thing is like it's the harmony do you know what i mean people do have i can't believe it the kindness of people here i mean randomly like i'll be somewhere right when i first arrived the first few weeks right oh my and it's still continues right people asking me out locals i'm talking about they want to pay for my stuff 
they so want to kind, like, yeah. yeah, they just want to help me out. It's almost, it's they want you to have a good experience that's with their it, country. That's it. They want and you to have a good reflection. And, oh, yeah. it's, it's been amazing so far. And I love it. I'm, that's the thing. I was like, wow, you know, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay a bit longer. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, man, it's been, nah, that's it. And the one thing also I've noticed, right, they love food. They love to eat. Yeah. And they're very slim. And the vast majority of Chinese people, they're very, very slim, do you know? Yeah. And that's the thing. I was like, my God. And for us, yeah, because we're from the West, and if you don't keep up with your like exercise, right? No, no, no. Like, I've been right now, it's, it, it's good. It's probably exercising every day, right? But for me, I've been exercising, I've been going to the gym. Like, since I've been here, I've been eating, eating, I'm putting a lot of weight, and it's mad. I'm, but I'm going to start exercising. Because, like, here, yeah, the food is very oily. A lot of the things, much, yeah. much fry based, you know what I mean? Deep fry. But it's delicious. Oh my God. Chinese food, I thought. So, so good. Oh, it's so good. I thought so, the ones so in the UK, yeah, they're good. Them ones are trash. <laughs> they're rubbish. <laughs> oh my God. It's a good view. This is not real. Uh, please. Man, all these years I've watched documentaries, countless of them. You know, watch um, multiple YouTube videos and even other videos as well about this place and looking at the skyline. Mate, let's just stop for a moment to yeah, mark this can. thing, man. Let's, take, like let's take a look. Oh my bloody me. Wow. This is a beauty, man. Unbelievable. Um, honestly, when I was in the UK, right, my phone nearly, someone nearly like, um, took my phone off me right because uh, there's a lot of people snatching phones now yeah. in london they're on a bike right it's so a little boys so they've got nothing to do really nothing to lose because they're teenagers and uh, basically the law protect them oh my goodness man this is something unbelievable but yeah like i feel very very safe it's a very very safe here in china wow i just can't stop jesus one, why can't we have this in the UK? Nah, they'd never be able to build anything like this in the UK. We're penny pinching, man. What do you think? Unbelievable, man. Yeah, that is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can easily jump on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. This is quality, man. Top quality right here. It's not packed as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not crowded. Jesus, man. So that is the. It's beautiful. That's a sour, nice isn't it? Day. So that's that's the pearl. That's oh. the oriental pearl. Right, right. And then the the big one is the yeah. That's the Shanghai Tower. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Is, is it, that's the tallest building in China, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the third tallest in the world. Right. So the Bund, being the Bund, is pretty much always very very busy. However, they have just recently built a new section just in Hongkau. Um, and not many people know about it right now. So I went there yesterday and the day before that and it was empty. So we're gonna go take a walk up there and see if it's still empty and check out the views from over there because it is absolutely stunning. I'm mesmerized, I'm mesmerized. You know, <laughs> coming here right now make me sound like American, you know what I mean? Uh, let me tell you something, man. Listen, listen, let me tell you something, right? You can never find this, you can never find this in america new york oh hell no hell no the americans right now they're jealous man they're, je they're, je they're jealous of china <laughs> and they're gonna you know what they're gonna say they're gonna say like ah oh, i've been paid by the cc hello hello auntie <laughs> oh my god i'm crazy man but anyways man it's amazing hello doi <laughs> Oh man, it's 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 unbelievable out of you man. Like literally you're leaving here. Man, look at all this European architecture. It's unbelievable. That's the um, CBC bank, yeah. Absolutely amazing. You know the one thing about me, so I like I like taking a long casual walk good like in London, because we have the the Tower Bridge, right? Mm. And then basically normally on the evening I go out to took a walk. I like when I'm close to the ocean or the lake or the river. It makes me happier, you know. Actually, when you live close to the water, right, it makes you live longer. You've got a good vibe and good mood. Yeah, so this area here 
still part of the Bund, but they've just finished building this area, so not many people know about it, which is why it's completely, completely empty. That's true. over there you would think there's nothing here you yeah. understand i think that makes a lot of sense that's the reason why you know what they should never promote this site you know they should never and don't even call any vloggers right to come and say oh look at this place a good spot you know what right now delete this thing off your mind you know you never seen this I, I wasn't here i was over there right so yeah very selfish you know very very selfish that's a western mentality <laughs> Wow, yeah, it's it is a it's a crazy view for it me. Is, is, for is. me, it's you know I've seen this like a thousand times now. Oh, no, no, it's no. still it's still a little bit magical, but right. the feeling that you have right now that was that was my first feeling when I when I first saw it. Right. Now seriously, you know what the thing is like. It's better if you come here to see it yourself than watching this thing on on a camera lens. Oh, of course, like, yeah. Way, yeah. Way so better. any of you guys get the if you ever get the opportunity to come here and and visit. 100% you Opportunity is the right word, man. Seriously. Coming to China is an opportunity. Not many people, even in the UK as well, will never get the opportunity to come and see here. But if you do, please do it, man. It's not an easy process at times. But these days, if you're coming for a tourist, yeah, it's easy. Don't worry, man. Yeah. Blood hell. It's so freaking expensive, right? But like here, look basically, if you want to get from, I live in Beijing, right? From Beijing to Tianjin. Man, it's only costing me like seven pound. I cannot believe it, man. It's always like 30 minutes, right? And it's equivalent to like, if say you're traveling from, what is it? From London, from London airport, right? Heathrow, I'm talking about Heathrow. So you want to get to Central, so let's say London Bridge, right? Oh my God, man. In the UK, it's really that expensive way here. So, so cheap, man. I, I, I appreciate it, man. So I don't want to say cheap just like that, but it's, let's say affordable. Maybe it's the, it's the right word or right phrase. Uh, I, lo I love it. Man, it's so clean, always spot, spot on. And uh, it's always on time. You know, the subway, the ice cream rail. I've, I've took the Magla train as well. Oh my God, that thing goes fast. It's amazing, it's amazing, man. It's like, yeah, that's the one thing they've done here. You would think um, in a country of like 1.4 billion people, right? It will be a struggle like, to move people around. But nah, nah, nah. These people, the system here move people so well. So efficiently. in China and for so little as well right 10 pound a day is more than enough I'm honestly yes such a nice day today to visit you garden I seem to only come here in October or the start of autumn I like this I like this a lot I like it a lot 